Hey you guys, today I'm back with a new video today and I have a surprise. I got a new fur baby. Her name is Lola and she is a dachshund mixed with a rat terrier. So this is my new baby. <laughs> she is um nine weeks. This week she'll be nine weeks, I think. Yesterday she makes nine weeks. She was born April 8, 2021. And yeah, so I got her um Sunday and I'm so excited to have her. She's been such a ball of energy. Um like now she's just gnawing on me. So uh, first before I get into Miss Lola, I am a fur mom of two my two oldest babies, which is Coda and Dakota. And I'm gonna give a rundown on them real quick before I just dive into Miss Lola. Um, Coda is five years old. She's an Australian Shepherd, and she is the mom of the Coda, which is a German Shepherd mixed with Australian Shepherd. So I know, right? The Coda looks way bigger than Coda, but they got different breeds within them. So, and I love both my babies. And again, Coda is five years old, and the Coda just turned two April first of this year. So. And they have a new little sister, which is Miss Lola. And again, she's a dachshund mixed with a rat terrier. And here's her mom and here's her dad. So um, when I was on YouTube, I didn't really see um, too many videos on this mix. And um, as you can see, she has the dachshund's body shape because that's what her dad is. And her mom's the rat terrier. So this, she has the long body and she has the dachshund's ears. <laughs> She's so over me. But um, so I'm going to go into the story of how I got her and why I got another fur baby. So if you um, don't know, I recently just moved back into... Um, <laughs> If you don't know, I recently just moved back into um, my apartment complex and I have my two, they have a weight limit. So we can't, hold on you guys. I'm sorry guys, she just got too excited. But um, so the backstory goes that, uh, <laughs> and she's back on, y'all I'm telling you, she is a busy body. Like she is. Like, if you want a puppy or a new, um, like, just be prepared to give all your energy to them or they're going to take it. <laughs> so, uh, the backstory is um, I moved back into this apartment complex and they had a weight limit of just only 25 pounds. So, of course, my Australian Shepherd and my German Shepherd exceeded that weight limit. So, and I forgot to mention that Coda and Dakota lives with my mom and brother and, um, my brother he sees about them so they're good i see them every try to go over there every once a week but i'm gonna try to start going over there a little more so but they are still with my family i still have them and that this is going to be a temporary thing once i get me a house i'm gonna bring all my fur babies with me so we can be all together so it's just something that is temporary so um i wanted a companion so i'm and i've had animals literally all my life like Ever since I was 12 years old, I always had a pet. Like, I had fishes, guinea pigs, cats, um, dogs. So, and if you don't know, animals are my love. Like, I always wanted to go to school to be a veterinarian, but the only thing that always stopped me is having to deal with sick animals um, and animals passing away. And I love animals so much that I just didn't want to deal with that. So, um, but yeah so um i went online looking because i the local um people here like they only had like a certain kind or they was too pricey so um and i didn't have to have a purebred i just wanted a um small dog um a small small toy dog because i never had a toy dog either i always had like an outside dog because my mom will always have her toy dogs inside so that always stopped me from getting toy dogs i always had to either stay with a cat or a fish <laughs> i saw a dog so this would be my first um toy dog so um i was reading a lot of reviews online from different um puppy places where they deliver the puppies to you and y'all the cost of having a puppy delivered to you is so expensive like the dog will already cost like two thousand then it will cost like eight hundred which i can understand but 
I just didn't want to go that route. So um, what I did was I went on Craigslist. I know, right? I went on Craigslist and y'all, I ran into so many scams. I didn't send no money because I'm smarter than that, but I ran into so many people trying to scam. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want a small fur baby. I don't, why do I have to go through all this? So I ran into so many scams of people trying to say, oh, leave a deposit. I'm like, I'm not comfortable. I know a lot of people do that, but this is not replica or replica business. So I don't feel comfortable just sending you money and you can just go ghost on me and not deal with me at all after the fact. So uh, after I filtered through, cause it was even to the point where I went into a little companion here so bad, I started looking into cats. And um, I don't know, that still did never work out either. So I just kept looking and I did, um, cause like my mom was like, just stop looking, let everything will come to you if it's meant to be. So I, <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, so I don't know. I have this mentality of if I want something, I'm going to, I don't know, try to get it. I mean, I know it's not the best thing, but so um, the night um, she told me that the next morning, could just program my head to every day, let me get online to see, you know, what's, what's out there. So um, I went on Craigslist again, I know, right? I don't know. I just, I just didn't want to be defeated with my search for a new uh, fur baby. So um, I seen a picture, and I will post a picture right here of this, um, these puppies. And I, I reached out to the people because they was like the puppies come with a care package. They already had their shots, and that's another thing. A lot of the people, um, they was like they don't have their shots, and I'm like I want to at least go ahead and have a puppy that already been vaccinated like i don't want to i don't know i just want them to be okay because what if you gave me a sick puppy like and i've already paid you so that's why i want the puppy to already be vaccinated so um we started communicating and for some reason i could just tell this person was more legit than the other people um she sent me the uh, shot records for her and we just started talking and she was like oh i'm coming to your city to actually um meet up with somebody at your pet smart to um bring one of the puppies so at first she had a litter of um what was it it was chihuahua because lola comes from the same dad as the the other puppies that I was one i was initially looking at so it was two boys um no it was three boys it was a light brown one and two light brown and black ones and they was a uh dang what was they i know it was a dex hound because they got the same dad so i forgot what they was mixed with but I was at first looking um, into them because I wanted a, a boy dog, a uh, male dog. So um, then she was like, I, I see, I seen that you said you was looking for, you know, you've been looking at little deck sounds. So I do have a, um, and I see that you have a weight limit where you live it. So I have this Dax mix with a rat terrier and she's going to be smaller than my uh, boys that I have. So I was like, hmm, I said, let me, um, let me see a picture of her. And so, so she sent me pictures of her and Lola's previous owner, um, which was an elderly woman, she had her and she couldn't keep up with her cause she was too, you know, energetic and she kept jumping up. And she said that the lady couldn't keep bending over. So they, uh, she had them come get Lola back. So, um, so by the time, um, I was, when she told me that I was like, you know what, I'm, I, I go ahead and you no, know, I want her. So, um, I was still scared about it. Like, I'm scared about anything until it just happened, to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was so nervous that day. Like, I was so nervous. Um, it was just this past Sunday. So, um, she um, decided to meet me where I stayed at. Not exactly where I stayed at, but, like, in the front. And um, I was on the phone with my mom the whole time. And I, I wouldn't recommend this. Thank God everything went well with me. But I definitely wouldn't recommend this. But... I don't know sometimes you know if you have that good feeling intuition my intuition wasn't telling me anything so um when she told me she was here because i waited like all day so it was about seven o'clock and she finally um came with the puppies so when she came and i was like i'm coming down and i seen her i just instantly fell in love she came out the car and she was just holding her and i was like oh my god i said She's smaller than what she looked like on the pictures that you showed me. Like, she is tiny. So, I was like, oh, my God. So, she let me hold her, and we were just talking. And um, 
because I actually got to meet the other two boys and the dad. And he was just so beautiful. They're all so beautiful. He was just jumping around and stuff and excited. So I was like, oh my gosh. So she's so beautiful. So she um came out, she pulled the bag out the car. And it was a bag, you guys, full of everything. She even let me pick out Lola's little bed. Like she had different beds. So I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, it was inside the bag. I'm going to put a picture up of the bag that she uh, sent everything that came with Lola. Pretty much, I have Lola going on for a week, and I haven't had to buy anything. The bag came with toys, like loads of toys, uh, a water dispenser, a food bowl, and it came with, um, a, she had a collar on, it came with a leash, and it came with cans of dog food, and um, puppy chow, and like the little dog bags, and treats, and everything. Like, she was, she was good. Like, I didn't have to get anything for her up until that point, but, um, Today, Lola's crate did come in because it was delayed, but it finally come in. And I'm going to show you guys that. But, yes, I was like, this is too good to be true. <laughs> like, cause we did a transaction because I did, uh, you know, pay for Lola. And, um, yeah, so it say on the, her shot records, it says she's born April 8th. But um, she told me she was 10 weeks, but she's like nine weeks. Like, she still got puppy breath. So, she's still roughly pretty young. But, um yes i just fell in love with her so you know we talked for a minute about the dog she was talking to me about his dad her dad I'm sorry her dad and um i just told him thank you and again congratulations to her we actually have the same name she's 21 weeks pregnant because she came here with her um her husband and boyfriend so but yes uh so when i came back into my apartment with her like you know of course she was skittish and stuff then all of a sudden she started playing and everything and she got a little more comfortable so yes um she's very um comfortable here now like she sleeps through the night and we're just starting crate training and she's actually her crate now sleep so because she was like she was busy body just then so i had to put her up in the crate but uh, she's already potty trained she goes on the pads and used the bathroom and i did some research on Daxons and i you know heard about id what is it idd and um i'm me since i'm gonna just have her here i'm not gonna have her on my couch or bed like it's gonna be a rule that i'm not gonna have her up there so she won't be jumping off of it because i know a lot of people get ramps for um vaccines and stuff because they don't want them to get you know the back disease or anything so um she's not allowed to be on anything if she is i'm gonna put her up there and take her off so and she's not gonna go down the stairs she has to use the bathroom i would just hope to carry her down there so i'm gonna be very cautious on that because i would hate for that to have to happen but um i feed her two times out the day i know you're supposed to feed them more but one day the first day i did that she threw up so i think i fed her too much so i um feed her puppy child right now perina's puppy child because that's what i gave dakota when she was a um, little puppy and she loves that she eats that like she's greedy she loves to eat and i like to get her little toys to gnaw on because she's um teething right now and she loves to bite like i got so many scratches on my hand from her biting in there i didn't know their teeth were so sharp like her teeth are sharp so um and her nails are also very long too so i'm gonna have to um make sure i keep her nails clipped but other than that um she's darkening because when i she on the picture she was like a real light color but she's starting to darken a little bit but yes that's my little baby i can't wait to introduce her to um her two sisters and her auntie penelope my mom's um jack chi but i'm gonna wait to do that you know wait till she gets a little i want to do it now while she's younger so that she can be more socialized with other animals and the good thing about the place i made it has a little dog part so um i'll probably take her there like when she gets a little bigger but for now i just got her potty trained in here and she's doing pretty good with that but yes um this is um she's my first toy dog she's a dachshund mixed with a rat terrier and i learned that both breeds are very small dogs and very energetic very smart and she already know how to play fetch like i throw something and she'll go run and get it so i'm very excited about having miss lola here in my company and I heard that they live pretty long, so I, I know I'm going to have Lola for around for a good time. And now I have three fur babies. I have Coda, Dakota, and Lola. And if you want to see videos on my two girls, my two older girls, I'd be happy to do that. But um, I'm excited. And I'm um, 
I'm gonna keep watching videos, doing research, and I know the female and the male dachshunds have two different personalities. And my reasoning of wanting the um, male dog is because I didn't have to worry about like the um, bleed and stuff when I got to here. But I'm gonna wait till she go get a little older and get that taken care of. And yeah, but I will have more videos on with Lola because I want to start a series to where you just see her grow and I start training her and. You could just get familiar with a dachshund mixed with a rat terrier and just see how big she gets and everything. But um, yes, I'm excited. Let me go get her so she can do this outro with me. This is Miss Lola. Look at the little short arms. And again, she is a dachshund mixed with a rat terrier. This is my baby. But um, but yeah, if you, want any, if you have any questions about um her, or my process of getting her or any tips if you're trying to look for a dog online I'd be happy to provide you with tips to avoid scams because I'm happy I didn't give nobody no money and I was able to get her successfully and everything went through great and quick little mini story real quick before we leave she like girl what like what <laughs> but um a few I would say a few days before I got her and before I even wanted the Dachshund. Um, cause I was actually looking at a lot of the different dogs, like Shorty, Short, Shorties, like the uh, two Wawa mixed with Yorkies. I was looking at a lot of different dogs, but um, when I was going back to my apartment for taking out my trash, this um, older guy had a Dachshund. And it just was so gravitated to me. Like he just wanted to come to me or he or she, I don't, but it just wanted to come to me and the man had to kind of pull it and that was just so i don't know because that time i knew i wanted the um puppy a small dog but it just gravitated to me so and a few days later here i am with a little dark so i don't know i guess that was the universe trying to tell you girl something like but thank you guys for watching this video with me and miss lola again she is only um nine weeks old still got puppy breath and everything but i'd be happy to do more videos about her and on her and yeah you guys thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and turn that bell notification on so you can stay updated as soon as i upload and again you all stay safe and blessed peace and this is lola in her crate so <laughs> yeah she sits in a big, a big girl and be quiet and let mommy do what she needs to do. So yeah, she's good in the crate. And this is a small crate. It's actually on um, this crate here. Um, it is the this one. So I got the um, small size for her. So and it fits great. She still has a lot of room in there, and I'm sure when she gets a little bigger, she still will have plenty of room. So. This is her in her crate. And y'all see how she has all these toys and everything from, but yeah.